Hi, welcome to this week's math lesson on patterns and relations where we're going to learn about input output machines. This week's learning goal is I can explore the pattern within each column of a table of values. And our language goal is I can talk about patterns using words like table of values, column, relationship, and pattern. Take a look at this machine here. We call it an input output machine. Any number that is put in this machine is multiplied by five. When you input six, the output is 30 because six times five equals 30. Okay, if we put a different input into this machine, let's see what will happen. Suppose we enter nine in the input. What'll the output be? 45 because nine times five is 45. Now, we can use an input output machine to make a growing pattern. Have a look. If we use this output input output machine to make a growing pattern, we see that the rule here is plus eight. This machine adds eight to each input to get the output. The pattern rule that relates the input to the output is add eight to the input. So you can see here that when we move from our input to our output, we are adding eight. One plus eight makes nine. Two plus eight makes 10. Three plus eight makes 11. Four plus eight makes 12. So the rule appears in our input output machine. Whatever is in this machine, we do to the input in order to get the output. And that's how those two relate to each other. When each input e increases by one, the output also increases by one. So for the input, our pattern rule is start at one, add one each time. So you can see our input increases by one each time and our output also increases by one each time. And I'm going to tell you right now, one trick to knowing that is that there's a plus sign add in our input output machine. So for our input, our pattern rule is start at one, add one each time. One plus one makes two, two plus one makes three, three plus one makes four. That's the pattern rule for the input. Let's talk about the pattern rule for the output. So again, the same rule in our input output machine, the rule that relates the input to the output is add eight. But in our output, we have a slightly different rule because we start at nine, not one. So our rule has to relate to the output because we're talking about the pattern rule for the output. So in this case, we start at nine, but we're still adding one each time. 9 plus 1 makes 10, 10 plus 1 makes 11, 11 plus 1 makes 12. So the pattern rule for the input and the output were fairly similar with this machine. We're adding one each time, but as you know from grade 5, you always have to say where you start when you state a pattern rule. You can't just say add one each time. This is not a complete pattern rule, okay? And here's a great example why, because our input is add one each time, but we start at one. Whoops. So in our input, we start at one, then we add one each time. In our output, we start at nine, and then we add one each time. And that's very different. So it's really important that we're clear about that. When we state our pattern rules, we must state where we start. Okay. Let's take a look at this input output machine because it does two things. It first doubles each input times two, that's doubling, and then it adds six. So we have an in-between space on this input output machine before we get to our output. So if we start with the input of six, we double six, that gives us 12, and then we're going to add six to that. 12 plus 6 gives us 18. So our final output of this machine, if the input is 6, the output is 18. 
Now let's take a look at a table instead of just the input output machine and see if we can find the pattern rule that relates the input in this column here to the output in this column here. What's the rule that relates these two? Let's take a close look. Multiply the input by two, then add six. Let's see if that bears out. We're gonna take a look, a little more close look at it and see how we figured that out. Let's start by looking more closely at the input. So the pattern rule for the input is start at two, add two each time, right? We can see that here. We start at two. It's really important to always say where we start and then we go to four. So that's add two. And from four to six, also add two. And from six to eight, also add two. So we have an increasing pattern. Start at two. Remember to say what you start at. Super, super important then add to each time. So I'm gonna pause right here to let you know, whenever I ask you a question on an assignment or a test or anything, what is the pattern rule? There are two marks. One is for saying where it starts and one is for stating what you do. So this would be one mark right here, start at two, add to each time, very important. I'm also gonna tell you that many, many, many students learn the hard way by getting only one out of two marks on this question, this kind of question over and over again several times, that's when they learn the lesson to remember to always say where you start with a pattern. All right, there's my lecture on marking questions about pattern rules. Let's look at the pattern rule for the output, okay? In this case, I'm gonna let you guys predict what you think it is. So remember, where do we start? And what happens to the numbers as we move through each step of the output table? Did you get start at 10, add four each time? If you did, give yourself a big old pat on the back because not only did you remember to say where it starts, but you got the pattern rule correct. So we've now identified three different pattern rules in each input output table. We have the pattern rule that relates the input to the output, and that's what is in the input output machine. That's the instructions or the operation it's telling you to do. And remember that an operation is addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. Those are our four basic operations in math, okay? so. The pattern rule that relates the input to the output is the operation that we do. And then we have a pattern rule that describes the input and a pattern rule that describes the output. So three different pattern rules for each input output table. So now we've worked out three pattern rules for this input output table. The first one is the pattern rule that relates the input to the output, which is multiply the input by two then add six. The second one is the pattern rule for the input column, which is start at two, add two each time. The third one is the pattern rule for the output column, which is start at 10, add four each time. Now it's your turn to try and figure one out on your own. Using the same two-step input-output machine, multiply the input by two, add six to get the output, what would you get if the input was eight? Good luck. 